All right, hello everyone, how are you guys doing? So before I go ahead and get on into it, uh, I will be streaming right after this goes live, so you guys wanna check that out, feel free to hit up the link in the description. On top of that, doing bond giveaways up until the end of the year as I've been doing in the past, a bond for every video, so if you guys wanna be entered in, just comment your RS name on this video. The winner from last video was Big Ranar, so congratulations to you, man, and congratulations on your bond. With that said though, let's go ahead, get on into the video. All right, so today's video is gonna be something just a little different, it's not going to be too much in depth, I guess, overall. It's just one thing that I've noticed throughout the game that I've always had questions on so if you guys are anything like me personally I just well right now I have the luxury of having a decent amount of cash you guys can see a hundred mil but anyone that ever has had this much money still knows that it isn't enough if you want to start getting the high tier you know high cost PVM upgrades you're gonna have to buy you know really expensive armor like bandos ancestral and Kodai wands and everything in between so for someone like me I try to you know kind of minimize the cost like as you guys can see here I try to keep as much cash as I can some things I have to be invested into for gear like a Sarah God sword that I have every now and then I need to sell for cash for this video and other stuff like that I just try to keep like decent gear in my bank as you guys can see Aram's like Carol's I literally don't like I just try to keep what the minimal stuff I'll need is because I know the upgrade from something like Guthix, Dragonhide, and Kurel's skirt to you know say Armadil is a little significant but it's not that big of a difference when it comes to buying and selling stuff and really that's what I want to talk about in this video so what this video is going to be dealing with is the real cost that comes with PVMing and buying and selling gear. I know it's something that not a lot of people think about and it's something that I am overly conscious of so I really just want to be able to put my you know mind at rest and see how much I actually end up spending on stuff like this. So as you guys can see bandos, DFS, all stuff that I keep in my bank so let's see that. I think what a good comparison will be is say right now I have a hundred mil. Now if I have a hundred mil would it be better off for me to just go ahead and buy the best Slayer gear that I could and and then maybe use that for a little while or would it be better for me just to buy a 10 mil gear setup and keep the 90 mil for cash now I can tell you the answer if you like to merge is going to be the 90 mil in cash but let's go ahead I'm gonna buy a hundred mil in Slayer gear and then sell it back and see how much we lose on margin so if you guys don't know what I'm talking about right here I'll just go ahead and test it with something hopefully a little smaller something like a dragon longsword to work so say I go ahead and buy a dragon longsword that is 59595 and then when I sell it obviously it's gonna be a little lower because somebody is going to be offering lower and right there I lost 70 GP now that's a dragon longsword the margins get crazy whenever you start getting up towards bandos and stuff like that I'm gonna go buy a full inventory and we will see how much I lose so I'll be starting with a hundred mil and then it'll be pretty easy to be able to tell how much we lost once I sell it back and there we go so that I think is going to be the best I mean kind of the most standard gear setup I can imagine anyone going with with a hundred mil now if you have less than this and you know maybe don't have something like barrows gloves or fire capes or other stuff like that the alternatives have really small margins so I wouldn't say to worry about that too much but for say an inventory setup like this, this is probably what you're gonna go with with 100 mil I mean overall it cost me 85 and that's not really bad now obviously you could change this for like a host and a DFS maybe but this is probably gonna be the more realistic setup for anyone so if I go ahead and sell it back that's when we really just get to realize how much this is going to cost us because right now we have no real idea once I sell off all this though we'll see how much the margins kind of flip it for us and how much you actually spend in this time that you're just gonna go ahead and do some slayer because really so that's the real question question is whether or not it's going to be worth it for you to buy Barrow's armor and a whip and you know kind of keep it easy or whether or not it's just going to be better to buy this massive armor for the little amount of time that you may be using it. Someone like me I switch it up a lot so it really depends. Obviously lower than 100 mil but if we go ahead and examine now we can see that in total I, did, I spent 300k right there. I'm not happy about it but yeah I ended up spending 300k just buying and selling items and in this scenario I didn't even have to buy a helmet slot, a cape slot, Barrow's gloves. I mean I had all these filled so if you're doing other things like bossing where you have to change those slots as well I mean the margins could even be higher since you're changing more gear now instead with a 10 mil gear setup as you guys can see this is really what I figure most people will probably be working with now obviously you can change the Torag's body for something like a torso and that's gonna make it so you end up spending less but something along this line could be something that you could buy for as little as six mil and the reason that this might be worth it for you is because the margins overall are just going to be smaller so now selling off the armor we can see how much the six mil gear setup actually costs us it shouldn't be too much and I mean Obviously, there is a downgrade in armor considering you're not having a torture, you're not having the strength bonus from the bandos, and obviously the berserker ring and the bludgeon, different things entirely. But here you can see we only lost 36k on this stuff. Now, obviously, the cheaper stuff gonna have smaller margins, and on top of that, usually bought and sold more frequently, so that's really why. But in this scenario, as you guys can see, I mean, just from the average slayer perspective, the process of flipping from having your cash stack in gear to having it in cash is so much more less expensive if you buy cheaper stuff, and sometimes it might be worth 
worth it. If you guys think about this, really what this is, by buying the cheaper gear, you're really saving yourself 260K. And so I, I guess these aren't margins that are gonna be universal, but for the most part, they're pretty applicable, I would say at least to the ratios. If you think of it in that way, you're getting another 250K XP per hour. Now I'll go find some efficiency stuff on this just so you guys have an idea, but I don't think it's really this necessary, but I'll do it. All right, and so here we are. This is a DPS calculator. If you guys wanna check this out, feel free to. I'll leave the link in the description. But as you guys can see at the left-hand side, this is going to be the cheaper gear setup with tour eggs, Dragon Defender, Whip, the whole deal. The right-hand side is your Bandos, your Abyssal Bludgeon, and obviously the attack styles are different, but we're testing this on a Fire Giant, so everything is nullified since it has no better defense to one or the other. As you guys can see, though, the DPS, and this is really what I want you to focus on, is pretty similar between the two setups, even though you're spending a difference of, you know, like 90 mil on each one, but that's really where it comes into play, and let me go ahead and calculate this real quick. Basically, for every 60 minutes that you'd be, you know, doing combat with this gear setup, you'd have to do 62.85 minutes with the cheaper gear setup. So overall, every hour, you're saving yourself 2.85 minutes, and on top of that, you have to remember that you did spend 250k more to be able to actually buy and sell these items. So how often you buy and sell your gear is really what's going to matter in this scenario. There's no way for me to tailor these stats to you, but so basically, I guess for an example, if you're someone that likes to hold on to the armor and say you do five hours of combat with it, in total, it'll be worth it for you to keep that armor and go to the higher tier armor, really, if you can make more than 800k an hour. But for someone like me that maybe, you know, I might be doing another task that requires different armor here soon, if I only spent half an hour on this task and I have to switch entire gear setups, the changing gear setups would only be worth it for me if I can make more than 10.7 mil an hour. Now I know that sounds extremely weird to think, but the way you have to think about this is in the half an hour that I'd be training that Slayer, in total I'd save myself 1.4 minutes, but it would come at the cost of 250k greater in actually changing up my gear. So that's something that if you are going to switch gear quite often, please do not buy and sell your gear. I've made the mistake of doing this a ton and it's something that holds true in all instances for the most part. Now next, this isn't something that's really comparable like the XP per hours that I was doing a second ago, but it's something just to kind of keep in mind. So something a lot of people like to do is Zora and Zora is a, you know, is, is a PVM method that you need so much stuff. You need like an entire gear setup and you need another five or six slots of gear that you can switch to. So this makes for a lot of items with a lot of margins. I'm gonna go ahead, use 100 mil to buy as much gear as I can here and kind of show you guys how much you can expect. Now, this is something just to demonstrate like whenever you do raids or whenever you do something like Zora where you're gonna have to buy a lot of different items. This is something to show you how much this can possibly be up to because it'd be even more than Slayer where you're just switching a few items at a time. All in all, this is what I was able to come up with with my 100 mil setup I feel like it's literally everything I need for this uh, I did actually buy an extra pair of gothics boots because I didn't think I could afford Pagasian so I'll uh, I'll negate that from the total loss but right here is probably everything you would really need for Zora and there may be one item that I'm missing somewhere uh, you'll obviously need some food and if you end up buying and selling back the food that's fair enough in most instances you'll probably just end up using the scales and darts so you may not want to factor that in but for this case sometimes I switch from doing Zora to not doing Zora in as little as five to ten kills just because I'm annoyed of it and so I'm really just gonna go now and see how much this is one second though while I see what the difference is here 724k is what I bought them for and 704k is how much I sold them for so I'll take away 20k at the end I'm just hoping I don't lose a mil <laughs> I'm just stoked thank, thank god we got 99 mil I was hoping I wasn't gonna hit 98 well it would be interesting for the video not interesting for my bank so here if I take the 20k back that I actually lost on the guthix boot margin I didn't mean to do uh if we look now this is how much I lost in total on my Zora I'm really scared to even look yeah, 500k. Oh, that is just. I was. I thought it could have been worse, but still, 500k. Like stuff like that is really just why I just want to show you guys this. Like 500k. Think about that. If you just go and buy, you know, like a 20 mil setup, maybe with Zora to be a little different because you're making a lot of money per hour. But in some instances where you're not and you're just buying and selling armor, there are huge margins that you can just be missing entirely because you're not really paying attention to it. All of your money blurs together whenever you just have. Well, I guess in my scenario, 100 mil, but maybe not in everyone's scenario. Sometimes it kind of just blurs together and you don't know when you're losing money on armor that you're selling. And so really, the point of this entire video is just 
be careful with how much you switch up what you're doing and make sure it's worth it and just be thoughtful whenever you drop bank on stuff because it's something I've been known to do in the past quite often and uh, yeah it always ends up biting me because I have to end up losing 500k every time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and got some information out of this. Really I kind of also just wanted to know how much money most people lose buying and selling stuff like that. I mean obviously I've done it but I've never even taken as much you know care or in the world to even know how much I'm losing and so really this video kind of puts it in per into perspective for you guys if you guys are really interested in that type of stuff so I know kind of an off the wall video but something I was highly interested in if you guys like the video as well make sure to like it obviously if you guys like my content subscribe to the channel on top of that leave your RS name in the comments so you guys can win a bond but with that said hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and peace